it's just been crisis after crisis after crisis after crisis and i'm like you know what thus is history repeating itself thus is nothing but basically karma that's by my own perspective and the reason as to why i'm saying this it's uh because they never laid a, a good foundation they did the things over the years not knowing that it will cost them in the nearer future and now they have to battle with it up that aside when i always speak of uh, this so-called thing the media keeps on contradicting themselves on daily basis i have a story today it was just the other day whereby they started uh, william was jealous because camilla was being entitled to bigger events they they themselves the same media outlets made it so clear that william and camilla were not in good terms they were not okay and that's why even camilla decided to take a vacation just wanting to kind of you know breathe or take a take a moment a minute just for herself it was the same same media outlets and tell me why today they come about with this whole story of Kat and William's health issue has brought William and Camilla way much closer. I thought they say that this too had a serious rift. I thought there were the some people, the some some royal expert, because this is according to our certain royal expert, Janine Bond, who starts that you know what it has literally just made their bond more stronger and i'm like how is that even possible yesterday they say something else today they also say something else and trust me you tomorrow they also have something different not knowing that their articles are way much kind of just in record they have a lot of of secrets they just want to showcase a fake lifestyle out here wanting to make people think otherwise not knowing that's not what's happening i hope you got that the article that i'll be taking you through has a title which states cat and charles's health issue have a brought william and camilla closer royal expert says Royal expert Janine Bond says Kat Middleton and uh, King Charles's health issue has sparked an improved uh, relationship between Prince William and uh, Queen uh, Camilla as they are uh, bound to be in closer contact. I'm not surprised it's them saying this. Basically, we all can tell there is a serious rift. We all can tell that the monarchy is at the moment falling. The sheep is sinking, and that's basically the monarchy sinking. I always started that uh, they have a lot of broken pieces. And they themselves know very well they can't uh, just bring them back to light or to life. And uh, the only person who maybe could have assisted them in doing so is Harry and Meghan. And at the moment, don't have any chance of having neither of them back. That's one thing Harry and Meghan have made it so clear. So the fact that, you know, the media outlets, the so-called royal experts keep on contradicting themselves by saying that this today and stating the other thing the next day gives us all reasons to just say they are paid to spread about positivity that isn't in existence. The royal family have faced a difficult few months due to numerous health battles but cat middleton and king charles a recent hospital visit have helped create a strong alliance between the partners according to the according to an expert prince william and queen camilla are said to be closer than ever as they both take on additional responsibilities it comes after charles was diagnosed with cancer cat underwent an abdominal procedure and their pair are both taking it easy following their recent health scares. Janine Bond, a former BBC royal correspondent, says that William and Camilla have both stepped up and are nursing the crown. I'm like, is this even worth believing? Or this is just something that we all can tell is a made up story? 
because basically this and right this doesn't even sound true at all from my own perspective because i'm like william nassin it's just because they managed to go one event together and that's the commonwealth event just the other day and they were spotted so much close to one another and uh you know that kind of just makes them want to see or want to tell that these two people are so much okay definitely i personally end buying that lie they showed their improved relationship during their appearance at the Commonwealth Day service this week. Both Kat and Charles were unable to attend at the Westminster Abbey service on Monday. The 75-year-old monarch delivered a video message to the people of the Commonwealth in a virtual address instead as he stressed the importance of unity i bet a lot of us just watched that and got to see it but the fact that they were in the same event both together doesn't mean that their relationship outside the camera is okay personally i'm not agreeing with that reason being it was just william the other day who was saying oh, i want prepared he is for workload and i bet he decided to make it to this event after how he just uh, decided to cut off uh, going to his godfather's memorial at the last minute, 45 minutes to the event. I bet he decided if I wouldn't go to this, then things ain't going to be right because that people never took it right. Him kind of just canceling an event 45 minutes to, and this is your godfather's memorial service we're speaking about like that one never went well with him that's basically a thing that we all know very well on my side i can say that these people are okay they aren't just face faking it in front of the cameras because that's the only option they're left with they have nothing to do about it william and uh, camilla on the same page never happening the media is just kind of trying to print this whole out aspect this whole picture wanting to make them look like the good ones here as if everything is flowing per expected in the monarchy but people and fools out here i don't know what you're thinking i don't know what's your tag just let me know on the comment section hoping to see you guys in our next video